of fighting men. They have full three score thousand. There's five to one sites. They are all fresh. God's arm strikes with us. Tis a fearful odds. God be with you, Princess All. I'll do my charge. If we no more meet till we meet in heaven. Then joyfully, my noble lord of Bedford, my good lord of Gloucester, and my dear lords of Exeter, and my kind kinsmen, warriors all, adieu. Farewell, good Salisbury, and good luck go with thee. Farewell, kind lord, fight valiantly today, and yet I do thee wrong to my thee of it, for thou art afraid of the firm truth of Allah. He is full of valour, as of kindness, princely in both. Oh, that we now had here. But one ten thousand of those men in England that do not do work today. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He that uplives this day and comes safe home, will stand a tiptoe when the day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. He that shall live this day and see old age will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors and say, tomorrow is Saint Crispian. Then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars and say these wounds are had on Crispian's day. Old men forget, yet shall be forgot. But he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day and shall our names familiar in his mouth as household words. Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, being their flowing cups freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispin shall know the why. From this day onward, to the ending of the world, but we, we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers, for he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother, be he never so vile. To stay gentle his condition, and gentlemen in England now abed shall think themselves because they were not here, and hold their manhood cheap while any speaks that fought with us upon the same Christmas day. I salute you, my brethren. <laughs>